<laughs> Damn! It's a whole lot of drink! Oh, wow! Yummy! <laughs> So we've done the easy part, we've made it to Lagoon. Now we have to climb over that mountain to get to Coconut Beach. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Up and easy. easy peasy. Wrong. This is how I climb a coconut tree. Get your hands like that, get your feet, do it without shoes, it makes it a lot easier. And then you just one foot in front of the other. And then when you get here, you wrap your legs around that, grab on the palm block, and then push yourself up until you pretty much get up into the tree and then cut your coconuts down. Let's go, baby. And sliding down. Whee! Get a nice nut massage. <laughs> nice nut massage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so. Yep. And see if you can sort of have your foot flat against it. Flat. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. The monkey boy. And then wrap your legs all the way around it. That's it. Grab a little palm from. And hoist yourself up. There we go. After what? Yeah. And that's how it's done. Like a pro. I like the most nut massage. Yeah. Alright, because I can't be bothered climb up a coconut tree, we've come to a coconut tree that's about arm's length away. So a good way of getting these coconuts down, when you don't have your machete on you, is you just grab it and just keep spinning it till it falls off. So we get this one. Yeah. And boom, get yourself a coconut. Now this one's a pretty young coconut. You can tell that it's got a little bit of green on it. This is how I like to open them. Put them on an angle like this, where it's pointing downwards, and I start cutting on an angle like that, just up from halfway. Then you got the liquid right in there. And this one should be really sweet just because it's such a young coconut. Oh, really good stuff. That's really good. Because it's such a young coconut, you can put your blade right in the center. Find something hard to whack it against. All right, coconut tree. And then just. And boom. And a great way of getting the flesh out of these is you actually get one of the bits that you cut off. You split it in half. Use the sharp end of that. Grab the end. And you should be able to just peel the flesh off. And then have a nice bit. Mmm. Oh, what <laughs> tricky. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> mm, yummy. Alright, so we're gonna collect a bunch of coconuts because we have pretty much none at home and we're actually running exceptionally low on food and we can't sail anywhere or get any fresh supplies. So, we're gonna rely a little bit on the coconuts we're having just as a source of fresh food for us. And we might even actually take a nose. There was some more wild passion fruit around. Does look alright. 
Whoa. Oh, I got a good one. That's what you want. Mmm. Really sweet. The ones you want to look for when you open these is make sure the seeds are like black instead of green. If they're green, that means they're way too ripe. Swim out to the boat. We're gonna have voice over Baden from now on. Sick, I know, right? Anyway, so we end up getting stuck at Lausanne for the next three weeks. So we spent most of our mornings either walking the beach or going for a swim. Then we'd go for a hike. Oh, look at that view. Just brilliant, Baden. Brilliant. Then by the afternoon, we'd hang around with the yachties and play bocce on the beach. Just have an all-around good time. And we were running exceptionally low on food. Thank God for all the yachties just coming together and bringing us heaps of food. Could not thank them enough. They really helped us out. Some days, not so good. We had a bit of rain, but you know, we didn't mind. It didn't dampen our spirits. We were still holding on. So we spent a lot of time just repairing the boat, just doing little jobs, pretty much just getting ready for that wind window just to clear up for at least a day or two just so we could make our way over to Cooktown and just sit in the bay there until the wind pretty much eases off and we can go out sailing again. Most sunsets we would actually go ashore and have a couple of drinks and share some stories. This video in front of us was actually a birthday party and it was really lovely to see everyone come ashore and you know bring food and drinks and just chill out. You know it was, it was just an all around good time really. The hospitality of these boats were just unbelievable. Unfortunately we didn't have much to offer them so we showed them some of the videos that we made and they seemed to absolutely love them. And boom! After weeks of not having much good wind at all, we finally had the small wind window so we decided to leave it, but you know, we were not complaining. We were stoked about it. Like I said, we were on our way to Cooktown. It took us about a day of sailing into the wind. A bit brutal, but it was alright. And then we finally got to Cooktown on sunset. It was pretty weird seeing all the cars and all the people and shops. You know, we weren't used to that after two months of being at sea, but you know, we are pretty happy to be there. So the weather wasn't getting much better for like a month or so, so we decided to pack all our stuff up and make our way back to Cairns. Shout out to Dad for driving all the way down to Cooktown from Cairns and picking us up. It was pretty nice seeing him after two months. So. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Bit of something different. If you're subscribed, I appreciate the hell out of you. If you're not subscribed, well, you really should because you'd be helping a brother out. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Yeah. Until next time.